Hi everyone, I'm Ann Reynolds, owner of Wine Compliance Alliance here in Napa, California. And there was a posting that went out just this week that got a lot of folks' hearts racing, including mine, in the wine industry world. And it was specifically from this uh, post shared by the uh, Hinman and Carmichael Law Group. Uh, by the way, the website to search for is www.beveragelaw, all one word, dot com. And as you can see, here's the title, Why the FDA is Inspecting Wineries. So when we hear inspecting, just the word inspecting, it kind of sets out a panic. Uh, I don't care what industry you're talking about, but it, it really has started to stir some things up for those of us in the winery world. So this video is going to clarify uh, just a couple of things because a lot of this, uh, quite honestly, even for myself, I am not 100% clear on yet, like most of us in the winery world, okay? Just to put you at ease, if you're thinking, you know, you're the only one to miss the boat on this, you're not. There is a lot of um, confusion around this and plenty will still continue to be clarified uh, in the coming days and weeks and perhaps months as these FDA inspections at winery sites continue to uh, ramp up. This is, uh, this is what's really starting to happen. So this video I'm going to clarify for one, um, who is subject to these FDA inspection, on-site inspections. And then beyond that, um, if you are a winery in the United States, which again, as I always point out in these videos, if you are an alternating proprietor, an AP at an existing winery site, you are a winery. Anybody who is a winery is required to have a food facility registration with the FDA. So that's going to be the topics of just this video. Uh, stay tuned, um, sign up, subscribe to my YouTube channel to continue in the loop for future updates related to just this specific topic of FDA uh, regulation of our world as wineries. So. First of all, um, this is an awesome blog post from the folks, like I said, Hinman Carmichael. Um, this is another good blog to be subscribed to. Um, they call it their Booze Rules newsletter. Uh, anyway, but this particular one, which just came out on Monday, Why the FDA is Inspecting Wineries, has a lot of really good information in it. Um, plus, uh, as you'll see, I'm included in several of the comments, uh, which m many of which are uh, questions, more clarification questions. But this uh, I thought was a really good post, really good to share with all of you in the winery world related to this, this what's going on with the FDA regulating U.S. wineries and what these inspections are all about. So. What I want to cover next in this video is related to uh, who is subject to these FDA on-site inspections. Uh, so if your winery has less than 11 employees and sells over 50% 50 per, 50 or more of your wines you know, made at your site, uh, if you sell 50% or more direct to consumer, then if you meet both of those qualifications, you have um, less than 11 employees. I believe it's either less than 11 employees or 11 employees or less. And you sell at least 50% of your wine through the direct to consumer channel. Then you are exempt. You do not have to, uh, you would not be subject to these on-site inspections that this blog post talks a lot about. Okay, so you would not have to be losing any sleep of 
uh, is the FDA going to show up at my site tomorrow and start, you know, combing through requesting certain records and certain documents? Don't go into a panic uh, because I know so many of you out there in the winery world are small. And so therefore you do meet both of those qualifications. So you would be exempt from uh, the FDA ever, you know, knocking on your door specifically. So I wanted to clarify that. And again, it's if you have, I believe it's if it's 11 employees or less and because you have to meet both and you sell 50% uh, you know, at least 50% of your wine is sold direct consumer. So in my experience, that is, that's, that is a large percentage of folks who are in the wine business. They are small. They don't have a lot of employees. Uh, and the direct consumer channel is their primary focus. Uh, because as we know, that's just, that really is the holy grail of the wine world is the direct consumer channel. So that's, that's what I want to clarify in this video. So hopefully giving a certain amount of you some peace of mind um, that you won't get you know, somebody from the FDA knocking on your door tomorrow or next week. Um, so that's the, what I want to clarify for this video. So again, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I highly suggest that you do if you want to stay in the loop. If you are one of those wineries that has more than 11 employees and uh, just that alone, if you've got more than 11 employees, uh, that's going to make you subject to these on-site inspections. So subscribe to my YouTube channel because I am going to be sharing future videos about the some of the specifics that this blog post gives into related to the FDA's requirements when they come to your site as far as records and training and other details that they are specifically looking to be in place uh, related to you know being a, a FDA regulated site. And then lastly, I do want to also clarify that even though you're a small guy, even though you, uh, after watching this video, as I clarified earlier, you are exempt from the on-site inspections. Still, if you are a winery in the U.S., and again, if you're an alternating proprietor, you're a winery, you are required to have a food facility registration with the FDA. And you're, these days you are now required to renew that food facility registration every two years. So again, to clarify, any U.S. winery, doesn't matter your size, must be registered as a food facility with the FDA. And that registration is now required to be renewed every two years. Everybody has to meet that one. But a, a lot of you will not have to lose any sleep over being subject to these on-site inspections. So again, stay tuned for more videos related to just this topic about the FDA requirements and any other future updates that affect those of us in the wine production world.